Alright, Shalom. <clears throat> Thank you for all praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Salakia. Call Allah Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Yahweh Radash. Alright, which is the true ancient pillow Hebrew tone the Lord speaking in the ancient of days. Alright, that's the true Heavenly Father and Son's name, which today the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's give uh, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone, who hold the top of the of David, who have the full 100% truth, all right, all right, who, and, and uh, have the full true doctrine of the Holy Spirit or in the Holy Scriptures, okay? And so I take you to the elder of my, uh, in my camp, the head of my camp, Kazaku uh, I teach under, in the, in the camp of men in Israel, in Greenville, South Carolina. Shout out to you men and women who believe in the, uh, in the true in the uh, true words of the Heavenly Father, all right, who believes and who has uh, continued to walk within the faith, continued to show the words, being sincere, all right, reading and showing thyself approved, and also being 100% uh, sincere in the works, you know, being a living sacrifice, okay? And then I like to say shalom to that. And this title will be, uh, called the understanding of fearing the Lord. So you have to have an understanding of how to fear the Lord. All right. You have to understand that he's omnipotent. He cannot be manipulated. There's nothing over him. He's, he's over everything. There's no God but before him. All right. There's nothing that compares to the heavenly father. There is no match to him. There is no equal to him. There is nothing that is uh, that he has no weakness. There is no kryptonite to the heavenly father. Okay, though you have been brainwashed to believe that, you know, through marvel works of the enemy, you know, these superheroes, that that it's always somebody who's who has a a, a power over all most of the superheroes, but yet they have some type of weakness where they can get, you know, they can get hurt. But that's not based off the heavenly father. You can't base, you know, man, man made base things off the heavenly father, because apparently he has he has no fear into something that is greater than that. All right, especially this this day and age, man, they fear nothing. The only thing they have is pleasure and lust of themselves and the things of the world. But for the righteous, for the people, for for the Hebrew Israelites. All right, we're supposed to be, you know, we're supposed to be, you know, the Lord's possession. All right, we're, we are the Lord's possession. We're supposed to be, you know, exalting the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Okay, we're supposed to be the uh, the prime example of righteousness among all the heathen nations. Okay, and to have to and to show the works and to show and to and to uh act upon the law when anyone goes off okay that's showing the fear of the lord but our people has fallen off as well all right believing in trusting into the heathen nations and their false philosophies gods and deities such of that nature all right to our to the point where the lord has cast us away from the land and given it to the heathen all right so now the lord has put the spirit back on us man it's time to come back to the law statutes commandments time to all right, to uh, be showed, to be reproved of, 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 of good works, all right, to be rebuked, to to, under, have, to have understanding, and to show what the Lord is capable of to the people who, who have no understand, understanding of their Heavenly Father. And that's to the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians, all right, who are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites the Bible speaks of, okay? And we're only here to speak to our people and to warn our people so that they may have salvation, all right, showing them their transgressions, telling them to uh, step on, uh, to separate themselves from the world, separate themselves from the things of the world, all right, the pleasures of the world, so that they can have a sound mind. And I'm going to start with Proverbs chapter 14, 26. It says, in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. How can you have strong confidence in fearing the Lord? Because you understand that keeping the law to the best of your ability all right, keeping the law to the best of your ability, not shaving your beard, not eating uh, pig and swine, all right, not not eating uh, 
crab lobster and shrimp, uh, sticking to the dietary law, all right, sticking to the holy days, keeping the Sabbath, keeping, keeping, uh, you know, the, the main things that you can keep today in, 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 uh, in this, in this, uh, wicked ass nation in Babylon the Great, all right, we are, we are to keep these things forever. When you read these scriptures in Leviticus and Exodus, there are, there are, there are days we're supposed to keep forever, man, from generation to generation, okay, and, you know, the day of their bed, uh, you know, all these things, man, you know, that you can get into and go into, but really, you know, it's the understanding of fear, it says, and his children shall have a place of refuge, man, talking about a place of peace, and we're, we're, we're seeking that by doing the best we can, all right, by, by pushing the videos, pushing the warnings, pushing the prophecy, all right, showing you what, what's, the, what's to come and what's ahead and what these devils are, are trying to do to deceive you, to keep you up, to keep you awake, man, all right. So this is Proverbs chapter 14, 27, it says, The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. So when you come into the, not the uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, all right, when you fear the Lord, knowing that he's your true power, that he's able to take away your life, take away your, your loved ones, take away your job, take away all the things that you have done financially, that you work hard on, you know, all right, put you in, in, in a hellish state, all right, having you lose something in your life dearly, or having you have a certain illness to where he gets your attention, all right, the Lord is in control of all these things. The Lord is in control of the left hand and the right hand. He can control whether there's a wicked spirit or a righteous spirit that's among you. All right. So he is in control. He's he's the top and there's nothing else. All right. And he is to be feared. He has demonic power. The Lord has control over all the storms in, in the, of the world. Any storm, any tropical storm, any anything dared to a mass destruction or earthquake, any of something of that mass uh, level, the Lord has done it. Tornadoes, the Lord has done it. Thunderstorms, the Lord has done it. Everything, man, everything on this scale, on, 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 on under the sun, the Lord has control over it, even outside of it. So there, there is no limit to the Heavenly Father. He is to be feared. He start wars, he end wars. He rise up kings and he takes down kings. This man has everything in his hands. So what is there for you to say that you have no room to fear the Lord? You must be a coward. All right, the Lord, he says, look, to depart from snares of death. And there's always snares of death. There's always a wicked person is, 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 is waiting for you to fall into a trap, waiting for you to fall into a false philosophy, all right, to hear his smooth and kind words so that later on he, he'll, he will bind you and, and, and have you paying the rest of your life serving him, all right? And that's, you know, we already know who that is. That's Esau Edom, all right? But also, these other nations have learned from this devil. So they become devils as well. So, all right, that's the fornication of this damn wicked-ass man. Also, we have to understand that uh, in Proverbs 15, 33, it says, The fear of the Lord is to the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. So when you come into this truth, you will be humiliated. Why? Because when you when you trust the Lord, the world and the whole world did not love him when he was here. So the whole world is not going to love you while he dwell within you, while you have his spirit of doing the works, all right, prophesying or, you know, continue to do the righteous acts. The, 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 uh, that's going to show, all right? So when you go out and family sees that, they're going to see that you are different from them, that you're not continuing to do the same traditional things, all right, same how you're not, you're not into birthdays, holidays, and, and all the things of the earth, of the world. That you're in the things of the spirit, all right, and you're going to be separated, all right. So you're going to be humiliated at the same time. It's humiliation because you're going to be vexed to the point because no one likes you, and you always have to. It seems to. It seems though that you will always have to explain yourself because people are always the fucking. I want to ask questions, but they swear up and down they believe the same God as you, but they don't because they don't know the Heavenly Father. All right, you have to understand the Lord chose you. So, if you if, when you have this knowledge and wisdom to understand, you better use it to the best of your ability. Okay, and it says, uh, 
and probably uh, this is Psalms uh, 112. It says, and verse one says, "Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighteth greatly in His commandments." All right. It says, "For those who love," it says, "If you love the Lord, keep thy commandments." So when you love the Lord, you're keeping the commandments. You you're doing what you're supposed to do. All right. You you you, you showing and breaking down scriptures. All right. You 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 uh you making sure that you're edifying. You making sure that you are able to uh, defend the gospel. Okay, and and keep the law to the best of your ability, sincerely and hundred percent. All right, showing your due diligence and charity to, towards one another and your brothers, man. Being able to to uh, lift the brother up, being able to uh, rebuke your brother, being able to uh, <clears throat> aid each and every time, you know, saying that there's help needed, or you know, vice versa. So you know, what I'm saying. We have to be able to have our minds in the ways of the Lord and not in the ways of our own heart because our, our heart is a wicked device of, of all the things of the world. Every, anytime you trust into your own self, you trust into the ways of the, of the wicked. You trust into the ways of, of, of pleasure and, 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 and smooth things instead of things that, that come from the Heavenly Father. And that is deception, man. All right? Though we wrestle with, it says what? We wrestle on, uh, though we're not wrestle with the uh, flesh and blood, we wrestle with the principalities, all right? Rest, roughly paraphrasing, wrestle with the principalities and those who are in high places, man. So, like, we rest, we, uh, we're wrestling with the, the the witchcraft of this of this land, the the uh, the sorcery of this place, all right? It's just filled with witches and warlocks. It's filled with things that, that's been preyed on and chanted on by evil spirits and evil evil works. By these higher elites that's in control of all our resources, that control of our way of, of, of our living. Okay? So we have to understand that, you know, this comes with a, with a great price when we, when we, when we come into the, uh, the Heavenly Father. When we, when we, when we uh, fear the Heavenly Father and, 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 and accept the wisdom that He's given us and accept the knowledge that He's putting in our minds and our hearts, putting in, in, in our spirit. All right, to to uh, have spiritual discernment, to know when and what and how, and the time to wait on things and time to uh, be expedient, and when not to be expedient. Okay, keeping the law shows you gain the wisdom and obedience, not to anger the heavenly Father. So, you know, when we when we when we continue to go forth and grow in this truth, we have to understand and and put things away. To not go back to these old ways and these old traditions and you know slang or whatever the hell we grew up in or whatever our, our um, ways of previous livelihoods that we was normalized in, we have to separate ourselves from even those things and put on a new a new uh, garment, man. All right, throw that old garment away, put on a new garment, and and that means putting on a new way of of behavior. Uh, when you come to this truth, you have to behave a certain way. You have to carry yourself a certain way. So, you know, having order and having, you know, the orders of the Lord, you know, being separate. That's the whole point. It says, uh, Psalms 19 and 7 says, The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. It says, making wise the simple. See that? So it it come natural, man. It says in Psalms nineteen eight, the statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlighten the eyes. When you start seeing the prophecies come to fruition and, and prophecy unfolding itself, you're gonna be enlightened by it. You're gonna see the signs. You're gonna see that the, the ways of how this devil is orchestrating his 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 um his agenda. You're gonna see how how the Lord is playing it out, and it's gonna be. But it's going to be a, a beautiful thing to you because you're seeing everything playing right before your eyes, okay? The Lord has given you, you know, enlightenment on all these things. And, and it's nothing but a blessing. It's nothing but a blessing. It shows you that the word is true, all right? It shows you that he is the living power, man, okay? This is Romans 12 and 2. It says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Verse 3 it says, For I will say, 
though the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according to according as Yahweh have to dealt to every man the measure of faith. Okay? And everybody has a different lot. Everybody is placed with different things in their, you know, different stumbling blocks. You know, some things are easy to other brothers and some are not. All right. Some brothers may have things where, you know, it could be easy for them to do, but the situation that the Lord has put them in is not. So we have to be considerate of one another. We have to, we have to be, you know, worrying about, you know, just making sure that the work is being done, period. Okay. The work is being done, you know, the, the, uh, the righteous acts has been performed. And that's all that really truly matters, man. Because we know the works, it ha it's, it's not dealing with faith. But we know that, you know, keeping the faith has had a little bit of works in it. Right? Because we have to rehearse these things, we're, we're rehearsing the righteous acts. It builds the faith, man. It builds the faith and keep us grounded. All right. Keep us, you know, you know, aware and keeping the fear of the Lord within our hearts. You know, and keeping us not from going astray and being caught in snares and traps of false word of falsehoodly words and doctrines that are not true. Because there are very sneaky individuals out there who tries to take the truth and mix it with their lives, man. So we have to be we have to continue to meditate and and and, and put our minds in into understanding the the, uh, the word to and to to be edifying to the, to always do precept upon precept, line upon line, to to make sure that everything that we look up and we define what it is, all right, find the etymology of the words, the root of the words, all right, the Hebrew of the, the Hebrew meaning of the words, the Greek meaning of the words, the Latin meaning of the words, all right, to 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 show exactly what it really means, breaking down parables, all these things, all right, is a measure of faith. So we have to continue to keep that in mind. The Most High is to be feared. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. And so when y'all be saying the devil tried this and the devil tried that, that ain't got nothing to do with it. It does, but it doesn't. The Lord is in control of the devil. So you have to understand the Lord has sent. If you don't, if you ain't doing anything against the heavenly Father, He's gonna send His His wicked angels upon you. He's gonna send His righteous angels upon you if you do righteously, all right, in His ways. So, and, and, and if you don't, if you're gonna do righteously upon His ways, then that means you know the heavenly Father's name. So He's gonna protect you. He's gonna aid you and guide you through through your journeys, all right, and and He's gonna uh, allow you to uh, step over that that um, that stumbling. That stumbling rock or that that rock that uh that distraction those snares that the enemy has put before you okay so you have to understand the lord he he works in all ways man every way he works around things through things over things it doesn't matter how big or how small or whatever it is the lord has his hand in it so understand that he says is there any that can deliver out of my hand you see that this is uh, verse 40. It says, For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. Verse 41 says, If I whip my glittering sword and my hand take hold judgment on judgment, I will render visions to my enemies and reward them that hate me. All right. You hate, how, do, how can you hate the Lord? By not following the law, statutes, commandments, by not believing in the prophecy he sent before you, prophesying and, 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 and uh, shouting and raising their voices on the corners of the streets. All right. They ain't say the Lord didn't say they're going to be in the church building. The Lord said they're going to be on the corners of the streets and the highways and byways. All right. Shout and, and, and call them and crying out to the people. Who are what people? The Hebrew Israelites. All right. The so-called black suspenders and native Indians that the Lord has the Bible speaks of. All right. That that we are here to to warn our people and to show them the transgressions and to and, and to and to uh Tell them to repent from their evil ways, just to be separate, and to come back to the Heavenly Father, and to and to know who their Heavenly Father's name is, which is Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay, and they have to, they have to take that heed. So it says, "I will render vengeance to my enemies." And if you don't want to, if you don't want to convert back to being a Hebrew Israelite, then you're just an Israelite. 
that's going to be destroyed. You're going to be part of the two-thirds, all right? And you're going to have to come back on the other side. But you're going to be destroyed on this side, all right? This is Deuteronomy uh, 32 and 42 says, I will make my arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall deliver flesh, devour flesh. It says, and that with the blood of the slain of the captives from the beginning of revenges upon the enemy. See, the Lord didn't forget anything. He didn't forget anything from the beginning of time to the middle of time to now or the, or the time to where he comes to destroy. He has everything documented. His angels documents everything. All right. And so you have to make sure that you are keeping yourself and praying and asking for forgiveness, asking for mercy, asking, you know, saying the Lord to, to, to keep you, you know, in the proper manner and behavior as you should go. You know, you know, you should pick up a Psalms, man, and. And take heed to it and ask the Lord to deliver you out of the hands of the wicked, to keep you from the snares of the wicked, all right, the conversations of the wicked. All right. When you go to work, it's things to, to be a light and take them serious, man. It's, it's not no lolly die lamb when you come into this truth. It's something to, to take very serious of. All right. It's a day by it's a day by day walk. And it ain't going to come quick either. So you have to understand, you have to understand uh, when you in it. You have to be quick enough within your spirit to, 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 to want to know, to want to have sit downs, to want to have, you know, be around like minded men who think like you and who are seeking the Heavenly Father. Okay. <clears throat> this is uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 43 it says, Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his service. And who is his service? Those who are prophesying the downfall of America, the world. All right, who's showing the world and, and, and Israel their transgressions, showing you what the wicked, what, what wickedness that you're doing, that you have, that, and where you got it from, and who has kept you in, in the lowest state. All right, we're showing y'all all these things. And, you know, y'all get mad at us because we tell you and reveal the truth to you, but you're not mad at the one who's brought you to a lowest state. You're not mad at the enemy. You're mad at us because we have brought it to your attention. And see, you you hate the servant of the Lord. It says, For I will avenge the blood of his servants and will render vengeance to his, to his adversaries and will be merciful to his land and to his people. See that? The Lord is going to be merciful. He's going to have mercy on his people. He's going to have mercy on his, on his land. All right? The Israelites, Jerusalem, he's going to have mercy on us. But to, to those who come against us, all right, y'all going to y'all going to face a big death. Y'all going to face a uh, mass death, man. You're gonna, your body is going to be scattered upon the earth. You're going to be destroyed by the sword, destroyed by famine, destroyed by by uh, IBCU missiles, destroyed by the uh, by starvation. Okay, and killed by and killed by your neighbors, man. Uh, raided and and tortured because the Lord is going to send. <clears throat> the Lord is going to put a, a spirit of vengeance upon. You know, and certain individuals to 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 act out his anger. So, you know, you want to you want to come against the uh, the Lord's people. The Lord's gonna come against you. All right, the Lord, the Most High has control over all things. All right, the, even the devil. The devil has, has no equal part to the Lord. That whole Christian talk thing of you know the the fallen angel shit. There's nowhere to be found in the Bible. Period. So. You know, when y'all want to bring that bullshit up, it tells me that you are very bugged out and you have no understanding of the scriptures because there's not one, you know, where it talks about, you know, the angels are mating with the damn humans that I've seen in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And when, when you when you find certain scriptures, you need to be able to break them down, not just point them out. So if, you, if you're going to look at a scripture and be like, well, that's what it says, then what what is the parable? Is that a parable or is that plural? So you have to you know y'all 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 so used to just saying shit that you heard, but you have no way of finding it for yourselves. And then your Christians always want to continue to to repeat yourself on things you have no understanding on. You 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 too lazy to even look for yourself. This is Job two and one. It says again there was a day. This is showing you that Satan takes orders from the Lord. All right, the Satan goes to deceiver, 
all right? The wicked one who, it, it just goes into being deceiver, all right? A devil. And we know that as a spirit. So when that spirit has manifested into the wicked, which is the East, which is Esau Edom, we know that he is the primary vessel of Satan, all right? Because he carries out all the ways of the devil, all right? He seeks, kills, and destroys. And there's only one nation of people who, who seeks, kills, and destroys. Okay? And that's Esau Edom. That is Esau Edom. Okay? Which is so-called white man. All right? And it says, again, there was a day. This is Job 2 and 1. Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence come from whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, and it says, one that feared God, and escuish evil and still he holdeth fast his integrity although moveth me against him to destroy him without cause okay and this is job 2 4 said and satan answered satan answered and the lord said scan for scan yeah all that a man have will he give for his life it says but put forth thy hand now and touch his bone and flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, here is thy hand, but save his life. So the Lord said, You can go ahead and try anything you want to do, but just don't kill him. You can do anything that you want to do. You can take his family, which if you read Job, you understand that Satan took his family, took his house, took his 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 land, his animals, his servants, maids, man handmaids. He took everything from Job. All right. Only thing Job had left was his damn wife, who tried to get him to kill himself. So, you know, to bear that humility. All right. This is showing what that Job feared the Lord. That Job did that, that he didn't allow to be he didn't allow himself to be broken by uh, the snares and the, and, the, and the wits of the devil. All right. Which is Satan. He didn't he didn't allow that man. All right. So, how could Satan pull this off? He had to come into a vessel, man. He had to come into someone's body, all right, to pull this off, all right? So, you have to understand, there's nothing changed today. There's nothing changed today. <clears throat> understand that the Lord has his hand in everything. And the fear of the Lord is a blessing, all right? But when you don't follow the law, statutes, commandments, man, all the curses will be upon you, man. You will face death, and you won't be delivered out of his hand. So, I hope all was edifying, and with that, shall we want.